reporting from Jaipur. Okay. My name is Ivana. This is. Hello. Good morning, Ivana Branko. <laughs> and we're on our way to Amberfort. Welcome to Amber Fort, Dad. Uh, thank you, thank you. This is our guide. Can you please introduce yourself? My name is Uma, full name Uma Shankar Sharma. Yes. And I am working from last 15 years as a tour guide from the government of Rajasthan. Yes. And we have come to see a beautiful palace known as the Amber Palace. Yes. So you were talking about this gate. This is a Ganesh gate. Yes. And this is the main entrance gate of the palace. Okay. And up there we have a painting of the Ganesh. Ganesh is the god for good luck and prosperity. That's why in India when we start a new home, any kind of the new work, we pray the Ganesh for good luck. That's why we have the painting on the door. And other painting we call frescoes. These are 400 years old and is still remaining as well. We're going into secret hallways. Wow. Our guide is already <laughs> showing us secret places in the palace. Love this room. This was the steam room of the Mahats. <sighs> and those days, 400 years back, how is it functioning? It's a water tub. At the bottom, they have a big place for fire. They fire the wood and heat the water. Hot water come out through the halls. And on this canal around here. So when hot water around here, Naturally, steam comes up. Right now, we see the sauna. Yeah. But is it because of the sun? Where is the, where is the heat coming from? Heat uh, from the hot water. Oh, okay, okay. It would be there. Okay. And that's a massage room. So first thing and queen, they get the body massage, oil massage. Yeah. Then a steam. And inside, we have a jacuzzi. Mm -hmm. What? You'll we'll see that. You come with me. I will show that to her. Very comfortable, you see from this side very comfortable. Okay. So the windows for the sunlight and ventilation. And there's a small window for the oil lamps in the night. And uh, they have four seats. So yeah. king and queen they sit together. And they get the bath. They have three pipelines for the hot water, for the normal water. Years they completed all of this glass work, all yellow lining, yellow work, white is POP the plaster of Paris, and all glasses. All these are convex mirror. In each and every glasses, you see that. Inside, we have a hall, we have a couple of pieces of the hall, one for Divane house. Outside, we have Divane, that's a hall of public audience, and this was hall of cabinet. Another use of the hall used to dance. When nighttime ladies, they put oil lamps on the hand when they dance inside, on the ceiling, lot of reflection. This is a universe. This is cool. Our guide just has one flashlight. And I don't know if you can see it, but the ceiling is twinkling. Yeah. Already. Yeah. I already want to make a statement that our guide is the best guide ever. Whoa. So this is what it looks like inside. Inside the hall. Wow. It's a mirror palace. Yes. And this is the best mirror palace in the world. Yes. And second largest. The wow. first largest in France, the Palace of Versailles. Yeah. And this is the second largest. The second largest and mirror palace. Most beautiful in the world. I agree. The guide is epic.
you know, just casually showing my dad my future home. See? <laughs> Our guide knows the best photo spots. 1010 guide. So this is the Maharani chair, the wheelchair. And they used to carry like how much weight uh, in clothes? Kg's weight of the dress and six kg's ornaments. Wow. Six kilograms. Wow. And they need to be carried to with a wheelchair. The, everywhere, everywhere, up. even on the roof. Even on the roof. Wow. <laughs> These are the queen's quarters. How many queens did he have? Twelve. The queens were guarded by eunuchs. And this was the king's room. And apparently the Maharaja also built a coffee day here with a beautiful view. So it's, we're just going to have coffee. From Maharaja on this what? Good idea? Good idea, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I am proud of you. Oh, my dad is craving coffee. <laughs> My dad's review. Yeah, the guide was the best investment today. Very true. Really, very really, true. Really. I love showing my dad around my future home, but the guide made it so much better. So Ten Ten can recommend his uh, phone number is down in the description below. So if you want to book our guide, this is not sponsored at all. I just want to help you guys out because honestly, my experience. The first time around was really overwhelming and awesome. But this time around, we also got to know like the quirks and the secrets of the Amber Fort. So really, really and can very, highly recommend. Very secret pictures of places. Yes, he's such a good not, photographer. Not, not, <laughs> he hey, knows all the photo really, stops. Really, yeah, really, definitely. Very good, very good. Yeah go for it right now we are off to the city palace oh one more recommendation mm -hmm. so today is the day after diwali or the day after new year and we came here at 8 a.m in the morning you need to do that if you want pictures at the gate i was literally running for that one minute when nobody was standing there which is super rare so if you want that just be here at 8 a.m in the morning and it's totally worth it because right now it is 10 30 and the fort is being flooded with people look 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 we are stuck in traffic getting down not even going up going down and right now there are also uh, lines for the elephant rides please don't do that i wouldn't recommend it but just so you know how crowded it is there are lines for the photo stops there are lines at the ticket booth and it's only 10 30. the fort opens at 8 a.m so please just be here at 8 a.m if you want to fully enjoy it right absolutely worth yes, the yes. worth the early wake-up call like <laughs> high five boom I'm used to crowds and it's one of the things that I do like in India but right now during Diwali season it's just too crowded right yeah I agree like here it's all nice in the courtyard but in the smaller buildings it's just too crowded whoa okay it's not that crowded over here I'm very surprised because I think that is the insta famous gate over there ah no this is it this is the very, very famous Instagate. Well, we took a picture there. Yay. <laughs> oh my God, look at this cutie. Look at this cutie. How cute are you? The next Maharaja of India. Yes, this is the next Maharaja. He's just checking out his home. Yeah. It's like, what are these peasants doing here? 
<laughs> I think this is a good running ground. <laughs> Trying our cortas for my dad for the wedding. Oh my god, he's gonna look so regal. I'm loving this so much. <gasps> wow. Just see. Look at him. Handsome man. <laughs> Bought an extra corta for dad. Well, actually, the corta that we needed. And I'd love to go shopping, but at the same time, we're super hungry and there is an incredible Rajasthani Dali lunch waiting for us back at the Fairmont Hotel. Ah, there we go. There's our driver. Hello. <laughs> our wonderful driver. So, the, <laughs> the Fairmont arranged a car for us during our trip, and it's absolutely a blessing. Our driver is always there when we need him. We just have to call him. It's such a comfortable car. Also, it really saves time to have a driver if you want to see a lot of places because he's just waiting for us and then uh, takes us to where we need to be. And also with the Kurta shopping, he was recommending us places where to go Kurta shopping. Oh, 1010 would recommend it. I have a collaboration with Fairmont in Jaipur, but honestly, it's such incredible service that is making our life so much easier traveling around actually we're just enjoying without having to worry about you know how we are gonna get from one spot to another i really like it i feel a nice uh, uh, morning he had a nice morning and also nice uh, afternoon. nice kurta he's yeah. happy with his kurta <laughs> thank, nice. you. thank you thank mm -hmm. you Thank you. Mm -hmm. I don't think I can express how impressive that welcome is every single time. Yeah. You like it? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. It's very, very nice. Yeah, it's very special. <laughs> Back in the hotel and we're going to have a fantastic Rajasthani Thali lunch. But that's going to be a separate video. So make sure to subscribe for that. The Fairmont Jaipur is taking such good care of us. a little bit we're just hanging out at the pool my dad is reading a book cheers a mocktail in coffee <laughs> good after this busy a nice break hmm? it's a nice break, break. Yeah. yeah I like it. same after this busy morning we deserve it relaxing happened because we had an amazing afternoon tea with a gorgeous view and the sunset and right now we are just taking a little bit of rest and let that food settle down before we head out to dinner if i have to rate this bed honestly it's a 10 out of 10 because it's very very soft and cozy it feels like getting hugged by a really nice teddy bear it's still firm it's not gonna break your back but it's it's just cozy really really cozy perfect place to relax for an hour and a half so see you later bye Cheers. Cheers. 
a shivari paneer kebab and lentil kebab. Chicken kebab, the lamb chops. You won't hear me say this very often, but I honestly prefer the dal kebab over the paneer kebab. It's super smoky and so full of flavor. Like, oh, it's, it's literally like this barbecue scent that's coming off of it, and that's also in the taste. Mm. What's your favorite ad? I think Indonesia. Paneer? Yeah. Oh my god, I am my father's daughter. <laughs> Lahama Bira. Okay. Kofta curry for me and Peshawari dal. Dad, how are you liking the Indian food? Uh, for this course, I really like this chicken. The chicken is good? Absolutely, yes. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> Enjoy it. <laughs> Trying the veg kofta curry. Mm. Mm. Very different than the kofta I've tasted before. Usually I have malai kofta. This one is, is definitely... Uh, it's a softer texture than malai kofta. Let me also try the Peshwari dal. So much good food. Mm. Honestly, well, that video still needs to go up when you're watching this. But you really need to watch it, the Rajasthani Dali. It literally had mind-blowing dal. One of the best dals I've ever eaten in my life. So this dal is good, don't get me wrong. It's more spicy. But the flavor of that dal, I'm going to dream for weeks about that. Ho, ho, ho. It was so good. Wait for it. That video is coming up. This is a milestone, guys. Not only did I try Gevar this year for the first time, my dad is trying Gevar too. In Jaipur, how about that? Hello, good evening. <laughs> <laughs> try it. Wow. Yeah? It's, it's really. Wow. Really tasty. Oh, I have, now I have to try to look at this beautiful creamy gavar. Who's drooling? I'm drooling. Oh, this cake is a lot harder than the one that I tried before. Well, that's interesting. Let's do this. I'm drooling. Mm. Okay. Yep. Totally with you on this dad. Wow. Yeah. Hi. Hello. <laughs> Thank you it's, so much for the food. It's very tasty. It's perfect. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Compliment. Very tasty. Thank you so much. Yeah, <laughs> Chef just came to say hi. Gavar. This Gavar is ten ten. <laughs> what? What did you want to say, Dad? Uh, for this uh, piece of the cake. How do you stay here one night more? Uh, he doesn't want to leave. He just wants to eat the game. Oh. <laughs> wow. Make sure to subscribe and put a thumbs up if you like the vlog. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. Bye. Bye.